Throughout the years, there's been some strange occurrences in the Reading school system. Today we're here to interview teachers and students about their strange experiences at the high school. A teacher has like touched my shoulder a lot randomly. It was weird because like it wasn't like no regular. It was just like like some weird stuff, you know? One time I had a substitute teacher. She asked me if I was raised by dolphins. I said no. It was an odd moment. I had a teacher once and she made a game once about the leading causes of death and the same teacher would make jokes about depression and her dad's strokes. <laughs> Two kids got in a um, argu really verbal argument and a girl took out a pair of scissors and started yelling at him. Someone did a flip in the hallway. Um, someone had a frog in their pocket. Uh, probably when <laughs> tried to fight and uh, he got chased out of the cafeteria with like a, like the water bottle or the water filled thing. What is the craziest thing you've experienced at RMHS? Uh, probably seeing 20 great days in the lobby of the high school with therapy dogs and seeing all the crazy hair colors of people and stuff like that. But it was very strange. I go, you know, walking really fast as I always do into this ninth grade advisory class and I trip and I fall flat on my face. So I got all the girls at practice and after they warmed up I told them about it and they all, I took them all outside, showed them all of these geese and they were able to point out the rare snow goose. What is the craziest rumor that you heard before coming to the high school? I heard a rumor about freshmen being shoved into lockers at the, on Friday. In seventh grade, there was a mad pooper, and they pooped in the gym, the band room, and on the field. One year, I had a teacher that had pet pill books, and she tried to force me to feed them potatoes. Actually, today in my English class, this kid healed in with some homemade jam and some plastic spoons and was ready for us to eat it. When we were doing our poetry presentations. We all put on berets and we walked around the school like we were poets. Um, well, there's no locks on the bathroom doors, so they put hair elastics on the doors. So there's this one teacher that we always run into out of school, and especially at Dunkin' Donuts. We saw our Dunkin' Donuts and we didn't have enough money, so she offered to pay for us. One time a teacher said that she would never eat a student unless they had cranberry sauce on them. <laughs> we had some students going back about four years um, who took it upon themselves to very stealthily put their own quote up on the wall and they perfectly, I still don't know how they did it, they perfectly matched the typeface of the quotes that are up there and they perfectly matched the metallic um, style of them and managed to get a quote up there attributed to somebody in just the exact same manner as the approved quotes um, and they managed to get it up there without anybody seeing them do it and it was it, they, and they did it in in good fun it was it was really funny what they put up there so there you have it these are the weirdest strangest and funniest things that writing kids have experienced oh i don't have an answer i'm just in the video Wait. <laughs> what? Oh. oh. <laughs> Hold on one second. Can we, can we start again? Uh -oh. No. <laughs> We're going back down to the first floor. <laughs> With the cafeteria, our sub is telling us how she did opium. <laughs> What's the. No, wait, hold on. <laughs> I guarantee there's rats down there. There's definitely rats. <laughs> 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 